I'll end on this. A uh, quick answer for Peter. Does AI help or hurt crypto? I've been saying this for the while now. I'm just waiting for the there's going to be some convergence between crypto and AI that crypto helps to monetize the the actions and behavior and outputs of AI. I can see that. I think that's where it happens. And when that happens, um, it'll make the gig economy the economy because now everything that you do, if you tie it into these systems, can then be profitable. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling my wife, imagine you're sitting on your watching Netflix show and you have the system who's monitoring you and as you're talking, as you're behave, uh, behaving, it then writes reviews according to how you are interacting with the, the show that mm-hmm. it's just generated automatically that then is you know beneficial to the uh, the advertising and to other people consuming it or whatever. Like the things that you're doing day by day can then be analyzed in such a way through AI systems in order to generate new types of content that, which then can be monetized. Yeah, and monetizing your creative wait. output. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that um, it's also worth pointing out that the, the crypto space is two different industries. On one hand, you have the actual crypto technology, blockchain technology, the the way to write contracts within that space, the the way to write monetary agreements, the way to use the technology. And then there's the speculative market pricing of the entire industry, which sometimes plays a role in the overall market price. But in general, crypto is very speculative and is largely driven by the greater full theory and people's belief that this new crypto is going to moon, right? So the uh, what I am more interested in, to your point, is how the crypto industry can actually solve some of these types of monetization problems where if I want to be paid for my effort in a new and innovative way, I can leverage some kind of crypto blockchain as well as the mon- you know, as the token, the token itself is my form of payment. And if I can find a way to actually use that in the ecosystem, I could see that actually creating sort of a, um, a, a very uh, synergistic relationship between the AI space, the creative output that you're you're generating, maybe even the impact it has on the NFT space and the value of NFTs. I could see some interplay there for sure, uh, but I think it will largely be around the creator economy. Uh, what about the point where because the um, because the blockchain, the the behavior, whatever behavior can be tied to the the token. Because mm-hmm. the, the way I'm seeing is not that the the crypto will be as a payment source specifically or only, but that we have um, the data, the public data that's available on the blockchain will now be available to all uh, as a training source for different um, different AI systems. And so uh, you have this naturally public thing that anyone could go and mine inf- information for. It becomes like I, I think it'll be like. Uh, um, a never-ending well of information for for different AI systems, as opposed to having to go and scrape Reddit, Twitter, and whatever for the stuff. You'll have blockchains to scrape. But the only way that's valuable is if those blockchain interactions are tied to behaviors that people are actually uh, performing. Right. Yeah. That's that's so. I, I don't know how that's going to turn into something. Uh, what that's going to turn into. I do think um, Cardano will be the token to pay attention to. Um, not just because I have Cardano, but I have Cardano because I think it can actually adapt to these different systems. Not financial advice. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, if you don't follow it, you'll regret it. And uh, so, uh, like I tell a lot of people in my, in my crypto group, I am your research. 